it's time to update my own project. Yay! Before I get started on my, my update, I'm going to ask you to please do all of the things and you know what they are. So this is a project I created. It's called Same Pan Last Year. The hashtag is also hashtag Same Pan Last Year. I had this start on January 8th and it is going to end December 8th of 2023. What I did is I went through and um, inspired by all of the ladies who are picking these start dates based on like Women's Equality Day, National Happy or yeah, Happy Hour Day, Make a Dog's Day, you know, all those that all the other girls have done. Um, I started looking at a calendar because I was thinking, gosh, where do they find all this fun stuff? So I started looking at the calendar and I thought, well, okay, let's just look at holidays. And so I went through and kind of just did them all in chronological order. I added a few extra things in there. I added, you know, special occasions. I um, tried to include a bunch of different things. And I set this up to do it whatever you want. That's how I roll. Um, supposed to be monthly updates on or around the 8th. Yeah, well, that's whatever. The idea behind this um, was kind of from some of the other ladies in the painting community where we're the ones that focus so hard on ro rolling through our older products that a lot of times we'll get new things in and we'll end up setting them aside until they become old things. So I thought if I give us a place to put old things specifically, then we can start putting some of the newer stuff in some of the other projects. Just wanted to try and make life simple for some of the ladies out there and for myself too, because I am just as guilty of that when I'm going through, I'm like, oh, I haven't used this in a long time or, oh, I haven't done this. I put in the exception with New Year's Day. That should have been a newer item, but these are not hard and fast rules. If you watch my videos, you know for a fact, I don't follow rules. So anybody out there who wants to break a rule, bend a rule, modify a rule, because they're only guidelines, they're not actual rules, go ahead. I'm never going to be the one to get mad about that. I jack up everybody else's projects. So if you have something that you think fits somewhere, but it's brand new, put it in. If you have something that you really need to get used up or want to use, but it doesn't quite fit, put it in. If you want to do, do something that's not makeup, put it in. I'm good with all of these things. Okay. I think I have explained that pretty much as well as it needs to be. And you guys, if you've seen these, you know. My whole goal is have fun. Makeup is fun. This is not something that's curing cancer, saving the world. This is fun. It makes us feel good, which is good for us. It's good for mental health, all that kind of stuff. But it's not a chore. If it's a chore, change it. We get a little bit wrapped up and I got to hit these goals. And I am so type A. I am one of the worst, but... Sometimes you just need to take a break. All right, so what I had going on is I had spring. So a spring palette or an item that you had gotten last spring or some previous spring, I brought in the Rose, Rose, Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This is not the bottle I had gotten in a previous spring, but I had gotten this for the first time. I think it was the first time in a previous spring. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I've got a little bottle. I'll bring it in. This is the one with all the goopy petals that's nice and messy. You can see all the chunkies, so a lot of people don't like this. We originally started, okay, well, can you see my lines? There, and hopefully you can see that, okay, I can never get these things turned the right. That's where the new line is. That's how much we've used, and I did not update last month because I'm me. My goal is to finish that. That is staying in the project. Then, for April showers, bring May flowers. An item related to flowers or flowers in any way. I brought in the Violet Voss Sweet Violet. Violet kind of figured that would work. I brought this in as a no pan left behind. You just recently saw this in my eyes project because of how impressed I was with this shade, which I thought didn't match the rest of the palette. I mean, let's be honest here. But I actually ended up loving it. And it's... um kind of an odd, I don't know if you can see that, peachy pinky. It would have been really good with what I'm wearing today, in fact, because it is that really pretty peach. I used a different peach because this palette was in the basket of we've completed it, so I had it set aside in my done items. So this is finished for the purposes of this project. I'm, okay, not the world's biggest Violet Voss fan. Do I love this shade? Well, yeah, I keep swatching it for you. Obviously, it's a good one. So this is going to stay in my collection. I am happy with it. Do I have the purples over and over again? Sure, I do. I'm me. I'm going to have 75 purple palettes. That's just my world. But this is a completed prompt for the purposes of this project. I don't know where to put this. We'll put it there. And then I had Cinco de Mayo. So this 
occurred May 5th, always does, and it is to use a five pan palette or bundle. It could have been a painting palette. I don't even care, but use it five times. Now, a lot of the ladies out there are really good panners and are really ambitious. So what they did is they picked five pan palettes and used each shade five times. Now I picked this Ofra Galaxy palette. I have it in both places. So um, I actually forgot to mark down a use. What I've done is different things because this middle shade, it has a mirror, I'm trying not to blind you. This middle shade is a great highlighter, but it's also a great inner corner. It's a great topper. It's got just a hint of a lavender. So it's not super purple, but it's an Ofra, so it's super blingy, which is nice. Now, I want to do that compared to this, which is kind of like a white shimmery, because that is definitely more white-based and definitely gives a little bit of a different cast. It doesn't have the lavender as much to it. It's got a little bit of a pink shift, so maybe there's a little bit, but the two items are different. And so I kind of like, I need to mark down that third use that I forgot. I go back and forth with which one I want to use. I've gotten three out of my five uses on this palette. This palette is staying in and I will get my extra couple uses on it. But like I said, doing both in the same look, sometimes I don't want that highlighter as my highlighter. So I'll use it on my eyes instead. Sometimes I use the white. I don't always use both of them. You don't have to use every single pan five times unless you can, if you have a five pan palette where the whole thing gives you one complete look, knock yourself out. But if you have five different colors that don't actually go together in a look, use each color and that's five uses but like i said anybody who wants to be ambitious knock yourselves out don't feel obligated i i don't know who hasn't hasn't done this one already but in if anybody wants to change their goal go ahead okay then i brought in 33 i brought in presents and i decided that or this is any item you've gotten as a gift for any reason gift with purchase birthday gift from somebody else friend mail, um, point perks, uh, birthday from Sephora, Ulta, anything, Macy's, whatever it is, any kind of gift for any reason, bring it in. I brought in this. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. And I have completed this. We are scraped out as well as we can be. I really like this. I don't know that I'm using it right. I don't know how anyone else uses it. But the way that I use it, because the place where I have the most trouble is actually under here, not up here. All right, we'll just have to deal with the weird noise. Apparently, True Green is here doing our yard. That's really, really fun. Anyway, <coughs> I used it underneath because I also use a color corrector, but I don't really use concealer. And this I thought really did help. I have another one of these minis that I will go through eventually. And then I'm going to make a determination about like how else I want to try this with that. And if this is something that I need to keep in my collection, because I kind of like this as an under eye primer before using the color corrector. If that, I don't know. Anyway, I liked it. I used it. It's done. It's going in the empties. I'm rambling. I don't know why. So that is a completed prompt. Good Lord. Let me see if I can get myself organized because, yeah, that would be a shock, wouldn't it? All right. April Fool's Day. April 1st, every year. An item you feel like a fool for buying. Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Because this one is Petal, and this is a dupe for one of the Fenty Beauty... Um, what are their little lip glosses called? I don't even remember. Anyway, whatever the Fenty Beauty lip gloss is, these are supposed to be dupes for that. And I have not only the Fenty Beauty, but then I also have Maybelline. In both houses, I don't like lip gloss. I managed to lose my one in Arizona. I don't know if I, where I lost it, but I couldn't find it. It wasn't in my purse. It wasn't in the car. It wasn't in the house. So I don't know, but I had it here. So I finished it off and I actually ended up getting 16 applications instead of 15 between the two tubes. So this is actually a completed prompt for this project, and that is gonna roll back into the drawer to be used whenever I get around to it. It's not bad, I don't hate it, I just don't love it. All right, then we have got Earth Day, April 22nd. So an eco-friendly item, clean beauty, etc., which I know annoys people, so that's why I put it in here, just because I like to be a smart aleck. 
It's like having a lawnmower going behind me. It's really fun. I brought in the um, sexy hair. This is the style curling cream. And I put it in for five uses. I started it in Arizona. I stopped tracking at seven between there and here. This is what I prefer. I don't like gels. I like a actual cream. Let's see if I can do this where you can see it. Yeah. So it is a white cream product. It is not a gel. It is a curling cream. I love this stuff. I think it helps a lot with my natural curls. I only have so much time in the day. I have to deal with these people. And I don't edit this kind of crap out. So you're kind of stuck with it. Sorry. Anyway, for that prompt, it is completed. I had it in for five uses. I actually did more just because I didn't update. So I just added a couple. Of, I just tracked a couple more times and then I just stopped tracking. I figured I'd met my goal. It's something that's always in the rotation. It's around. Then we've got National Makeup Day, which was April 26th. So this is any makeup item you want to celebrate. Well, ColourPop Ice Dreams, guys. It is a fan favorite. I actually have used... have used this so much that I've hit the center pan and I have pan on the side of it. You're probably going to see this in this month's empties as an update because I've never counted that pan. I don't know that I've shown you that. So this is what it looks like on my finger. And this is great because I've got all these really light white things going on on my hand. Now this one, all right, this one, you're getting pink, purple, blue reflex. You're getting all the goodness almost a lavenderish. It is a makeup savior. Yeah, he's like literally behind me. Anyway, this is, oh, I can smell the gas from the mower or the sprayer. Blah. This is one of those that is an absolutely beautiful inner corner highlight. This is, this is Deb B's favorite also. And for her, it is the, it can save any makeup look type of item. For me, it's a great topper. It does help kind of maybe spark up some things, tone things a little bit. It does all kinds of great and wonderful things. We have got, I don't even know how many people talked into getting this um, and using it. Most of them are going to credit her for this, but this is one of those things that I have also had. And when she said how much she loved it, I'm like, oh my God, I've got that. And I love it too. It's absolutely awesome. It's amazing. And it, it's really weird. And okay. Let's see. Let's, let's see if, can you see how different those three things are? So you've got the Ofra highlighter, the Ofra white, and then ice streams next to each other. They're all subtly different. For the normal person, do you need to have all three? Probably not. But for someone like me, does that make a difference? Well, yes, it does. I've got nine out of my 10 uses for this go around. That I have no problem keeping in. Okay, so this video is going to be a fun one because the crazy train isn't necessarily going, well, I've gone off on a bunch of tangents, but my frustration level is probably entertaining for most of you. Let's talk about some stuff I'm bringing in. I did miss a month, which means that my dates are a little bit goofy, and so there's some things that have passed that I need to bring in. Now, Mother's Day was May 14th this year. This is one of those because it falls on a weekend. The date does change annually. I brought this in. If you are a mother... A stepmother, a pet mom, a plant mom, that's for Erica Ashley, um, or have ever had a mom, pick an item of your choice. So with this, I am bringing in Mother Pat. I am bringing in my Pat McGrath, oh wow, Lip Fetish Divino Lip Shine in Nude Venus. This was a fairly recent purchase. We've got the standard pink metallic packaging. We have got this gorgeous neutral color. And we've got a really nice formula. I'm going to love this. We're bringing this in for five uses. And for that, that is five days of use, not five applications. So it does not matter how many times I um, reapply. It's just going to count for the day because it's just easier for me to track. What can I say? Then Pride Month, which is June. So at least that I'm kind of on track for because it is June when you're seeing this. I said with this, in any way you can make it work, bring in an item from a pride collection or a rainbow item of some kind. And I thought, oh man, I know I have pride stuff, but then I couldn't figure out what I had from the pride collections and I was struggling until I came across this. This is a Saints Angel Sinners palette. So this is the Unity palette. It has the pride rainbows on it. 
this is, I want to say this is last year's. This is the color story. Okay, I'm bringing in the Unity palette, and I'm going to do three looks with it. It's a nine pan palette, so I figure with jumping around with shades, I can come up with three looks, and that's going to be a fun one. Then we're bringing in Blushing Brides. Wedding season has already started, and um, so I thought this would be a fun thing to do, like a blush or a blush palette. So I threw it in with the, I threw it in with June, but I don't know when wedding season technically starts. It might actually be May. Maybe, uh, whatever, whatever. I have this neglected blush. It's a cover FX. It's one of their duos that I have had for a long time. These have been around forever. This is uh, Mojave Mauve, and they go on half price at Ulta for their sales. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. And then it was sold out when other YouTubers were hyping it. So when it came back again and most people had it, I actually managed to get this one. And I thought, this is for me, probably a color story that'll work that I like. So I had ordered myself one. There are the colors. It is a little bit bright. I can't go ham on it because it's, you know, I don't want to look like a clown walking anywhere, but I love the shimmery. You know, I love my shiny. So I can use it as like a blush topper. I could use it. Well, I could probably get away with using it just as a straight blush. I like to shine. It's good. So I'm bringing that in for five uses. All right, then we have National Best Friends Day, which is June 8th, which is the day that this is supposed to go up and hopefully close to whenever you're seeing this. <laughs> Who knows? So I figured something from your best friend or reminds you of your best friend. Well, I always talk about my sister, and she's actually someone who, uh, it's confusing. She's an adopted member of the family, basically. But she's been my best friend for a bajillion years, since we were kids. We were out shopping in Arizona after we had moved and we were at, I don't know what kind of makeup company. I don't, it wasn't an Ulta. It was some kind of makeup company and they had the Tarte palettes. They had Tartlet, Tartlet and Bloom and I ended up getting, I have two palettes. I have Tartlet and Tartlet and Bloom from the same time period and then I have them here too. And um, so I left them in Arizona and she loved one of them so much that she had used it to the point where, because I think she had it in her bag, when I got back, the mirror was cracked and there were pans in a bunch of the palettes. So I don't think I, I don't know if I replaced it or not, but I have it here in Minnesota. And mine, of course, is the typical looking pristine type of palette because I am very neat with my palettes. I've There's a little bit of wear in here. I've used it, but mine still looks nice as opposed to the one she destroyed. And I don't remember which one of the two it was that she destroyed, but I grabbed this one in honor of, of her. And my goal is to hit 12 pans in here. However, I do that. Because this is all nice, light, matte, you know, pale shades that are going to be good base shades. Maybe transition shades, maybe help blend out. So it's just going to be, there's a couple dark ones too. I mean, I could use some for outer corner, that kind of stuff. But I want to hit 12 pans in here. That is my goal for this project. All right, finally, before I shut up about my project. Good Lord, this one's taking me forever. Mm. I always use my Love's Cup. I have a bunch of these, by the way, from traveling. I end up picking them up. They're so handy to have. I love the nice big double wall. I'm only commenting because you've seen it in multiple videos lately, and I used to try and keep that off screen, and now I just don't even care. All right, the last thing I am bringing in for this project is for summer. And summer has hit, you guys. Whew. So this is something that reminds you of summer or something that you got during a previous summer. I went with Clinique My Happy in Peony Picnic, because picnic in summer. This was, so at one point they came out with, they had their happy, they have happy heart, they have a couple different happy. They came out with this set and they were all like sample sizes of different flavors. And um, it was like a trial. So you could try all the different ones and you can layer these things to create your own fragrance, all that kind of stuff. There were two that I picked up in this size and the other one's a cocoa one and this one. These were, they were the two favorites out of there. I've also used the Jasmine one, the little ones in 50 Shades of Green. So you've seen some of those samples, but there's something about this one that, well, it's peony, so I love it. And I thought, picnic is a summer thing, so that worked for me. My goal on that is going to be five days of use. I mean, I've got a lot of this in here, so five days isn't going to make a huge difference. It's not going to finish it off, but at least it gets it back into my rotation and gives me some choices because I don't wear the same perfume every day. I have a lot of perfume. I like fragrance. Like I said, that whole getting the nose thing fixed helped out a lot. So that is what I have got for you. These lights are a killer. 
for the project. Now, I'm going to give you a music moment, and this one is probably actually going to be like kind of short and sweet here for you. I am bringing in a band that I just discovered. The name of the band is Lost Hearts. I found them on YouTube. It came, I watch a lot of music stuff on YouTube, and so it came up as like a recommendation or whatever, and I listened to a song, and I'm like, okay, these, are, these guys are pretty cool, but there's not really information about them on their YouTube page. Well, then I just saw another song. This song just came out on their YouTube channel a couple of weeks ago, and the name of the song is Night to Remember. That's what's going to be linked down in the description box for the video for your viewing and listening pleasure, but I'm also going to give you the link to the band. I don't know when they started. They're a band from Nashville, Tennessee, and it actually is four guys, and they were all lead guitar players. <laughs> all right, interesting. So they got together to write songs to lighten up their rock and roll roots, and then they did this weird thing where they flipped a coin to determine who was going to do which thing. This is awesome. So you've got Max Fry got vocals and guitar, JT Shea got guitar and bass, Victor Adriel got guitar and bass, and then Mitch Arnhart got the drums. So these guys all started out as lead guitar players, but they obviously have some great musicality. Now, I think I had read in a comment on one of their videos, I think this might be one of Eddie Trunk's hidden gems. If you know music and you know metal, you're going to know who Eddie Trunk is. He's at all the festivals. He's had shows. He's done that metal show was the one that was he was one of the three guys in that. Um, he's done radio shows. Just he knows everybody in the metal industry basically and i think this was one that he had said something about on some kind of platform and someone had caught it in the comments they were like oh i'm so glad i heard eddie trunk mention this band i'm like oh okay these guys are not what i would consider metal they are definitely rock and roll and we're talking like classic sense of rock and roll um like you know how 70s rock and roll like the rolling stones are rock and roll they're they're not metal, they're not whatever. Some of their stuff is a little heavier, some of it's lighter. You know, it's it's just true rock and roll in my opinion. But they've also got a little bit of a poppy sound in some ways. Could they cross over from metal to mainstream? Absolutely, in my opinion. Are they ever gonna be hardcore? Not with what you're getting from me. There's no screaming, there's no yelling, there's no growling. These guys just sing. And they're good, and I like them. So that's what you're getting from me, a brand new discovery for me. So hopefully I can turn you on to a new band too. Go check out their YouTube channel. Go check out, uh, if you want to go check out their website. Like I said, I'm going to link that down there too. Um, Fantastic Ladies are going to be in my description box. This project was one that I did with them. I kind of figured you'd know that, and that's always in my title box. So that's everything, and I'm shutting up. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and watching me get frustrated with the the lawn guy and watch my makeup melt my eye is sticking together this is why i'm the crazy train so hopefully you enjoyed this journey and until next time everybody see ya bye